Okay, to print uh, your geometry, I recommend if you have multiple parts, instead of printing those, those, actually you can print these two parts parallel together. But actually, if you print those things together, your printing time is actually slower and actually longer than when you print one at a time. Can you guess why? Because, yeah, because it has print and there are a lot of moving time. And you may don't want to have that. So actually, this print one at a time is actually a little bit faster. And actually, when you print multiple objects at once, they're slightly kind of like, kind of, uh, you need a lot of hair-like 3D printing. Because it, when it moved away, it, has, it makes a kind of little bit hair. So you may not want that kind of thing. So to, uh, to 3D print this one, Select object, go to file, export selected, and select folder you want to save. And I will save it as STL, stereolithograph, here. And I say this one, bottom, and just whatever, OK. Use binary or ASCII. You can do two of them, but which one do you want to use? You, do you want to use binary or ASCII? Huh? What's the difference? Yeah, so, yeah, what's the difference? Uh, American yeah, so okay. that's why I recommend to use binary, because it's short, it's smaller. And then, unclick export open object. Uh, this will cause a lot of problems, actually. This one cannot be printed, actually. So I will click, unclick export open object. So it, this, then, this option will only enable you to export only closed, which is safe object. To print because I exported and your computer have or makeware so open makeware make bot uh, maker bot make maker bot desktop you will see this one in 3d printer and then here add go to add file then simply import bottom STL. Then actually you see that this one is a little bit smaller. What is the problem? Scale. Yeah, scale. This one is probably millimeter or centimeter. So I will scale up. I select the geometry, scale. Why should it be the height? So I'll simply change inches, millimeter. So this is too big. So why should it be the height? Three inches. So Actually, six, six inches. inches. So what is six inch in millimeter? Six inches in millimeter. So it should be 152.4. So this one should be this one. So this one is the right scale. And one thing, one thing for you to make sure is that this one is exactly on platform. Can you guess why? Yes, why? Why this one is already on plane, on platform? Because it's complex. It's on zero, zero. Yeah, because when we make that, because we made on zero, zero, zero. Mm -hmm. But if your object is somewhere in the space, you should make sure that, mm -hmm. that your object is on the platform. And But to, pre to make sure, select object, go to move, click this one, on platform. So this one, make sure that you will uh, make this one on platform. And then after all, now you click export print file. This one is actually a little bit different from our makeware file. Yeah, it looks nicer. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Subjective. <laughs> A little bit waiting time. So for those who made this week's model using laser cutter, next week you use you must use 3D printer. And those who use 3D printer, this week you must use laser cutter. Okay, the CNC people next week prepare both laser cutter and 3D print together. 
but you may have some extension. So yeah. you will you will not have any penalty for that. So when, when should we submit them? Uh, officially next uh, Wednesday midnight. So Wednesday. Yeah, but you can you can submit by next Sunday or next. You can have some extension because the uh, shop they, they have problem in hiring TA person. <clears throat> So your job is using Rhino, make 3D form, and in the meantime, and then 3D people guy, you will have no problem. But laser printing guy, which is who used the 3D printer before, actually you need to use slicing. So I'm giving you two case studies, which is using slicing, laser cut slicing for 3D fabrication. There are two projects. One is Michael Hansenmeyer, and the other one is uh, decoy. Both projects are to done using uh, one. The previous one, uh, Michael Hans and Meyer, they used laser cutter. They slide their column 22,700 pieces <laughs> and stack them. Oh and the next one, uh, the project done by decoy, they use a CNC machine. Basically, they slice it and then actually they, they kind of they cut out wood and then slice it on a kind of horizontal way. So slicing is our friend. <laughs> yeah. Is there any preference for material we should use for laser cut? Any cheap material would be fine. Probably paper. No bias. Huh? No bias. <laughs> so how excited we are! <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you want to our cover have, have the real size, have the huh? real size, yeah. not yeah. scale. No, actually, you are actually you are in a uh, height is twelve inches, oh. or your height is always our model will be precisely twelve inches. Oh, okay, because the first one I, I made in scale, so yeah. it's six inches. Yeah, so make it double. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there a way that uh, to not print the base? Uh, actually, but I strongly recommend to use the base because oh, otherwise yeah. your model will stick to the plate. When you take it out, actually, it will not take out easily. So actually, when you have the plate, actually, it's much easier to take it out. But then the base is stick stuck to the model. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you can take it out. Yeah, you can take it out easily. Yeah. And you don't need to. Why not? Yeah, if you have like two pieces and you want to sure. put them together, then actually use, you use the other sides. Ro uh, yeah, you know, but you can break rotate it. Yeah, you can break it off afterwards. Yeah, you can you I can take it out. Plus, if you put if you don't put a base in the base of your yeah. Geometry, actually, that if you don't use you don't that, yeah, your so base is a little bit. It's not flat. Wobbly, yeah. That Mine the the roll of wrap one is make your model e take it out easy. Second, make a really flat base. So your geometry could be flat. Because of the tape and all the stuff, actually the platform is not even actually, the truth is. This one is a little bit strange. It should not take this long. It's very strange. But let's wait. I think that's maybe it is too big, I guess. But let's wait. Any question about yeah? I have a question. I'm having trouble with getting the wall. So lock is only work with curve. Yeah, this is going to be Oh, you should use curve. Yeah. And then if you want to use straight lines, you're doing the middle of the curve. 3D printing. Whereas you're not. Actually, no. Also, join must be in different lines. Any question? Any question? So continue your scratch one more week, and then we will switch to grasshopper next week. Okay, so now this one is ready. Ah, this one's really changed. Print time, 12 hours. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Wait, it tells you? This one tells you how it tells you. Uh, okay, I think there's something wrong here. Okay, I will double check. Where is the set? Okay, setting. Okay, in the setting, because it's 12 hours, because it's a standard, 
always always use low because they're the printing quality the print quality is almost the same and they go and they always I will use raft and support all the time and go to advanced option if you click there's nothing here okay if you use make where which is in the computer next to 3d printer no, there will be an option that you can see huh they're already upgraded so really <laughs> okay so anyway then you have to see the printing time <laughs> Okay, so I will make you make sure that you use low, which is faster. If you want to make even faster, reduce infill like five percent or let's say three percent. Number of shells, if you want, that's faster. But I would not uh, reduce this one anymore. Layer height, uh, three, zero point three, which means every zero point three it will print out. If you make it like five, it will be faster. But I would not change this one at all too only simply infill with 3% and save setting and if I export to print yeah now this is much faster now so resolution is 0 0.3 millimeter which is every 3D so actually 3D printing is the principles of 3D printing same thing with laser cutter with slicing actually they are the same principle yes if we make the column hollow it would be much faster right yeah so 10% which, which means Oh, yes, you're correct, which means, okay, I will, I will, very good point, I will explain it later, after finishing this one. Yeah, uh, any other, other questions? Are you all happy? Ready. <laughs> the slicing, it's like the cross section, we take cross sections of all of the worms. Yes. What is the thickest material in laser using laser cutter? Point, I think point five point five is the thickest one. Mm -hmm. the, I would use point five yeah, <laughs> to save your time for this week's project. Put it on full heat too. Okay, so you know how to use three D printing. Any question for three D printing? Okay, that's so I will just kind of stop here. Um,